Welcome to a virtual tour of Tom Dorman State Nature Preserve. Located primarily in Garrett County, Kentucky, the Tom Dorman State Nature Preserve protects 945 acres of Kentucky River Palisades habitat. To get there from Jessamine County, drive south on U.S. Highway 27 and cross the bridge over the Kentucky River into Garrett County. The new parking lot is on the right immediately after you cross the river. Note that Google Maps will still take you to the old parking lot which closed in March 2020. If you are heading north on 27 coming from Garrett County, you will have to cross the bridge and turn around as it is not possible to make a left turn due to the highway divider. Things to consider when visiting Tom Dorman State Nature Preserve include, there are no restroom facilities, pets are not allowed, and this is a moderately strenuous hike Water, sunscreen, bug repellent, and snacks are good to have. Oh, and don't forget your phone because there will be many photo opportunities. The preserve has two main trails. The recently added Upper Palisades Trail, which is a little over 1.5 miles long, and the original Lower Palisades Trail, which is about 2.2 miles long. Both trails allow access to amazing views of the Kentucky River and the 220-foot high limestone palisades that surround it. The first quarter mile of the Upper Palisades Trail is an uphill hike over a fairly wide paved and then gravel path, but afterwards it narrows into a pretty dirt path in an open woodland with outcroppings of limestone and rock. You'll find many places to pause for a bird's eye view of the Kentucky River, but some of these overlooks are treacherous, so caution is advised. Spring and summer foliage can inhibit your view, but you can still see the river peeking through the branches. The Lower Palisades Trail takes you along an old stagecoach route that once went to a ferry. A small loop extending off the Lower Trail, called Knight's Ferry Trail, will take you through what was once a homestead, possibly the ferry captain's home, right up to the riverbank at the bottom of the Palisades. If you continue hiking the entire Lower Palisades Trail, you will eventually encounter a long section of steep steps. These might prove difficult for small children, so keep that in mind when planning your route. The limestone cliffs cut by the Kentucky River began to form in the Ordovician period about 450 million years ago. If you look closely at the large outcroppings of rock throughout the preserve, you can find fossils of things like cephalopods. You'll also find interesting crevices where the limestone has cracked open. Some of the trees you will find in Tom Dorman Nature Preserve include the white oak, shagbark hickory, blue ash, sugar maple, and the eastern red cedar, also known as the Virginia juniper. The red cedar is one of the first trees to begin growing on land that has been cleared or damaged. Pioneers cleared much of the original hickory and oak forests that dominated the ridges above the cliffs, so the red cedars have had the chance to get a foothold there. Though they have the potential to grow over 60 feet tall and live to be over 900 years of age, you'll find mostly smaller, younger trees in Tom Dorman. Red cedars are a native species that provide food and shelter for squirrels, turkeys, and bluebirds, but the dense covering of needles they leave on the forest floor can prevent other native plants and trees from thriving. The fallen trunks and branches of cedars can be found throughout the preserve. On your hike, you might enjoy trying to locate as many large, healthy red cedars as you can. You'll find many beautiful wildflowers in the preserve, including endangered and threatened species like the starry cleft phlox, Eggleston's violet, and Kentucky viburnum. Patches of water leaf line the lower trail, and ragwort is sprinkled throughout the forest floor. You'll also find an abundance of may apples, one of the first plants to emerge in the woodlands in early spring. If you look under its large umbrella-like leaves, you might see a pretty white flower that will turn into a single fruit in June. The woods are alive with the sounds of birds, especially on a warm spring morning. You can spot blue jays, indigo buntings, Carolina wrens, cedar waxwings, and many other songbirds. Listen for the downy woodpeckers as you walk. They love the open woodlands of the preserve and make a lot of noise with their shrill calls and hammering. They are most active in spring and summer, drilling into the trees for their favorite foods, which include pests like bark beetles and tent caterpillars, as well as ants and borers. 
they prefer to nest in dead trees or the dead portions of live trees. The moist woodlands and wildflowers attract pollinators, especially bees and butterflies. Be on the lookout for the red admiral butterfly. The foliage of nettles and elms are host to its caterpillars. Red admirals have been called people friendly and they might actually land on you. White-tailed deer are so abundant in Kentucky, you'll likely see them strolling through the preserve even in midday. In the bluegrass region, there are as many as 25 deer per square mile. Often they are casually curious and will stay long enough for both of you to get a good look at one another. Spring and summer are the time fawns are born and the time young bucks have velvet on their antlers. They may be ubiquitous, but deer are such graceful, beautiful creatures to watch that spotting them never gets old. I hope you have the opportunity to visit Tom Dorman State Nature Preserve. If you aren't able to get there, see if you can locate a red cedar tree, a may apple, a downy woodpecker, a red admiral butterfly, and a white-tailed deer in a woods near you or in your own backyard. Thanks for joining us on this virtual walk around Kentucky tour. Look for more virtual tours on the Jessamine County Public Library YouTube page.